here we are at Flea World in Rockwood, Tennessee. Chris has never been. Doug has been. Chris, are you ready to experience all that Flea World has to offer? Let's get it. Let's do it. You guys lead the way. Oh, dude, what? There's video games here. Let's see what we got. Britney's Deadly. Dude, that's the greatest game ever made. They made a Britney Spears game for the PlayStation 2. Quite a few games here. But it does look like it's been picked through a little bit. You gonna buy it? No, I don't know anything about World of Warcraft other than its name. I call it WoW. Yeah. I hope that catches on. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, check it out. Some old Batman trading cards. Oh, sweet. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Chris, give me your best Batman impression. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he ever says hello. Not one. <laughs> cassette tape boxes, storage boxes. And now here's what's cool about these. These are perfect to store um, Sega Genesis cartridges in. Uh, if I remember correctly, Sega Genesis cartridges will fit perfectly in these size slots, the yes. same as uh, cassette tapes. So the good booth, Chris, is right back there. Right back there. A guitar tuner, Chris, don't you, uh, don't you do some music, man? Don't you have some yep. projects going on? Yep. What, what do you got going on? Tell the audience about it real quick. My band, Dire House. We got a channel on YouTube, uh, Barn Song Electric. Be putting out some killer content pretty soon. Barn Song Electric, y'all. Support Chris and his new endeavor. I'll put the link in the description down below. That's an old piano, huh? Is this your buggy it here? Is. Five for a dollar. Well, okay then. That sounds that sounds like a good deal to me. Let's dig, guys. Help me find some movies that would be good for uh, for VHS Voyage, you guys. So we've made it to the main event, right? But the problem is, Willen and Dylan is closed right now. So we're just going to kind of hang out. We talked to a lady. She said they should be opening up in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh, they've got a, a tiger handout. Bowling. I do not have bowling. So I'm eyeballing that tiger handout. I might grab that if the price is right. Guys, here we are in Willing and Dilling. They opened up. Okay, so I found the GameCube games, and I checked out this stack to see what I need, and I actually do need WrestleMania XIX, and it is complete. So I'm gonna grab that. Oh, dude, yes, I was hoping this was still gonna be here. Oh, dude, they've got the, they've actually got the cart. This was not here last time. So this was a uh, Wendy's uh, Kids Mill toy line that came out when the Game Boy Advance came out for Mario. And I've got this one, but I'm actually, I think I might, I think I might buy it. Because I've got this one I'm leaving sealed, but I kind of want to get one to open it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to get this. Now Mario, Nintendo superpower plumber, is jumping into Wendy's Kids Meals. That's right, the defender of the Mushroom Kingdom is getting chased, racing on the super circuit, and speeding out of control. There's one Nintendo Mario toy in every Wendy's Kids Meal. Chris, what you, what you, oh, dude, Chris found a freaking Game Boy case that he can't open. Chris, dude, it's not childproof, man, come on. Come on, Chris. There's another one, maybe you can open that one. Where's the, there you, you go. You 40 when you need it. Yeah, right. Oh, I closed it. You closed it. What did you do that for? <laughs> and now you can't open it. <laughs> That's pretty slick, man. That is cool. It's got room for games, too. Looks like it's made for a Game Boy Pocket, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Chris, name that character. Oh, that's uh, Stuart Johnson. <laughs> Chris, yeah. name that character. Gray Donnelly. <laughs> okay, here's an easier one for you, Chris. 
Name that character. Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs>So here it is, Chris, the wall of VHS tapes. So I talked to the lady that owns the place and told her that I don't typically like paying more than a dollar per tape. And it sounds like if I get a bunch, it sounds like she's willing to make a really good deal for me. So I'm gonna drag that buggy over here. I'm about to load it up with some VHS tapes. Because this is one of the best selections that I think I've ever seen besides the nostalgia mom this is probably the second best selection i've seen and there's so many movies here that look like they would be perfect for vhs voyage and by the way if you haven't checked out vhs voyage what are you, what are you waiting on youtube.com slash vhs voyage link will be in the description down below that there you go yes. that yes. look yes. at that Oh, dude, yes, of course, man. <laughs> of course. Is it a movie about, it's a movie about killer bass. Yeah, that's, that screams VHS voice, dude. I, it took me a minute, but I dug through every single VHS tape. I have 32, let me show you, 32 VHS tapes in this, in this shopping cart. Look at that. <laughs> Micro machines. Micro machines. <laughs> Star Trek. Nobody likes Star Trek. Sorry, Garfunkel. We don't hawk Trek here. Check that out. That is dope. Turtles and magical crystals on the color. Yeah, this is this is old school turtles too, man. This is 1990. The Incredible Shrinking Turtle. I don't see a price on these. I'm, I would potentially be interested in these. These are pretty cool. Look at this. I have a few questions. Uh, I didn't know they made Ren and Stimpy comics. Yeah. But what I love about these old comics, though, is seeing old video game ads, man. Oh, yeah. It really takes me back. Check it out, guys. Dr. Doodoo. That's literally... <laughs> it's a turd. It's literally... Oh, my God. It's literally a turd. What are you doing in there, Devin? Get to work.